I'm Conservation Director Sarah Walsh here at Wolf Creek Falls Preserve to talk about tree tubes and tree maintenance. This past spring volunteers came in and planted this buffer between the landowner and Wolf Creek to add wildlife habitat, secure the stream banks, and ensure the future of the forest here. And every year, spring, fall, and a little bit in the summer, um, these kind of buffers do require some maintenance. So I'm gonna walk you through what that is. The first step in maintenance is assessing if your tree is actually standing vertical, if your tree tube is. This tree tube here is actually protective. Um, you can see there's perforations in it and it's actually protecting the plant that's growing inside. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that tree tubes are straight before the winter seasons when things get frozen in the ground so that in the spring when there's water and growth happens really quickly, your plants are growing straight and not at an angle. So the first thing we're gonna do is straighten up this tree tube. You can snug up the zip ties on the tubes as well, just to help get things nice and straight. The next step is to look at the base of the tree and where the tree tube hits the ground. Is there a lot of vegetation? In this case, definitely yes. Um, we wanna make sure that vegetation is away from the base of the tree tube to prevent critters like voles from making their winter habitat there and eating the tree in the winter time. So the next step is to clear that vegetation. Here's one other issue to look for when you're doing the maintenance. So you can see here, this is actually some, some grapevine, some buckthorn, and that's actually pushing up against the, um, the tree tube. So in those cases, you're gonna wanna take some, some clippers and just clip some of that back so it's not growing and pushing on that tree tube so that the tree can grow nice and straight up and down this might actually not be buckthorn, but um, honeysuckle. Either way, you know, it's always good to remove those. That's the plan eventually here is to get rid of a lot of these invasives. Um, we wanted to get some trees established first, though. Now we have a nice straight tree tube. The ground is free. There's still some mulch there from the spring that's going to keep the voles from building next to the the tree tube, and this is ready for winter. You can see I've got my work cut out for me, but it's not too bad. Stewards have been working all summer long to make sure that tree tubes have been standing relatively straight. So it's just a quick little adjustment of a few tubes, clearing a little bit of vegetation after the area has been brush hogged by other volunteers. And then these guys will be ready for winter. So the sun is shining. I just want to show you how these combi tube tree tubes work. So if the, you're planting trees this fall and you're wanting to protect from deer, this is a four foot tube and it's opaque, but with the sun shining on it this way, you can see the perforations. So that allows for some of the weather to come in. And if we look inside the top here, you can see how the sunlight comes through and, and actually can touch the plant um, and then the stake helps hold everything up but the I haven't cleared the vegetation from the base of this one yet but um, you know this tube prevents things from eating it from living next to it for the winter time 
they're a good investment because they can be used year and year again. And if you forget to maintain them, the other nice thing is they have this, this vertical perforation. So when the tree gets too big, this actually will, will break open and free the, the shrub. But I just want to show you, um, volunteers worked really hard to plant these. And so look, they're already coming to the top of the tree tubes at the end of the first year. And you can see here um, some of the shrubs that have come up. Um, and then over here is a really pretty sumac that has emerged and it's already got its fall foliage, which is really cute. So things are going really well in the buffer, um, which is great news.